I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find mean and median from grouped data. So we will consider the percent marks obtained by students in a grade 12 class of mathematics. So what we can do here is we can group them as follows. So let us say that the students whose percent marks are between let us say 20 to 30 percent so these are this is a range for the percent marks right so this is the range for marks marks percent so from 20 to 30 let us find the number of students let us say between this group there were five students who scored between 20 to 30 let us say okay so we'll just write a number here 5 now from 30 to 40 let us say the number of students were le let's say let's say 3 and from 40 to 50 let us say the students were 4 and let's say from 50 to 60 the number of students who scored marks were let's say 8 and then from 60 to 70 let's say the students were 15 and then from 70 to 80 the number of students who scored marks within this range is let's say about 25 and uh, let's say from 80 to 90 the number was uh, kind of let's say 10 and from 90 to 100, uh, let's say there were six students. Okay, let's say this is the kind of distribution for students scoring marks in mathematics. Okay, and let's say this data has been collected for all the grade 12 students in a school. Now, in that case, we can now add the number of students and find what is the total number of students for which the data has been collected, right? So let's add this up. So it is 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 15 plus 25 plus 10 plus 6 equals to. So let's say 76 is the total number of students for which we have some information. Now the question is, how to find mean and median of such a grouped data? Now, as you know, mean is the average value. Now, how do you find mean from here? To find mean, we have to find mid value of the given intervals. So let's find the mid value. So mid marks. So mid marks here will be 20 plus 30 divided by 2, which is 25. So let me write down the mid marks in sequence. Let's say this will be 25, this will be 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 95. So that becomes mid of these values. Is that okay? Now, once you have the mid value, this is number means representing frequency for us. You make another column which is product of mid value let's call this as x right xi product of these two which is f times xi right so product of these two is what you need so on average the marks obtained by the number of students in that group will be the product of these two right so it'll be 5 times 25 so write down the numbers here 125 3 times 35 equals to 105 okay 4 times 45 equals to 180 8 times 55 440 15 times 65 975 25 times 75 1875 10 times 85, 850. 6 times 95, 570. Right? So that becomes the total, I mean, product of 
students and in that group how much did they get let's add this up right so let's add this up to find the total for fxi right so this is how much let's add them so it's 125 plus 105 plus 180 plus 440 plus 975 plus 1875 plus 850 plus 570 right so add all these numbers to get this total which is 5120 for us okay so now we know total number of students and total number of marks on average. So this is kind of an approximate value since we are not taking exact marks obtained by each student, right? So in this case, mean is equal to the quotient of f of xi over the total number of students, right? So here the mean will be equal to 5120 divided by 76. Is that okay? So we have 5120. We'll divide this by 76 to get the answer in decimals as let's say 67. Point, let's say 67.4 percent. Right. So that becomes the average or the mean marks for all this group of students. Right. Now the question is, how do you find the median? So median will be somewhere in the center. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is even number of groups. So the two groups which are right in the center will be these two, correct? So somewhere right in the middle, we are expecting the median to be. Now to find this median, what we do here is that since it's a grouped data, We'll add these two, which is 440 plus 975 and divide by the total number of students in this group, which is 8 plus 15. Do you get the idea, right? So let's calculate this out now, which is 440 plus 975 divided by sum of the students, which is 8 plus 15, correct? Okay? Equals to in decimals it is 61.52 so in our case we get a median of 61.5 percent do you see that so so in our case the answer is we have mean of 67.4 percent and median is 61.5 percent do you see that so in a group data important thing here is you have to take the midpoint and then multiply it by frequency to get the total marks and find the answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these calculations help you to understand the method of analyzing group data as shown here. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.